Starlink has officially gone global. Come join us to find out more information. Hi, I'm Dan from the Mobile Internet Resource Center. It's always been known that Starlink's ultimate goal was to provide internet connectivity globally around the world. However, with low Earth orbit satellites, that's a challenge as you have to launch a lot of satellites to cover the entire Earth and have connectivity everywhere. In 2022, Starlink had a very aggressive launch schedule, and with new space laser equipped satellites, they've been expanding their capabilities in open waters and places that's just not economical to put ground stations. It seems with this effort, Starlink has finally got to a look a point in time that they can officially announce global coverage around the world. We first saw this global coverage mentioned in the maritime service, where Starlink now calls it global maritime coverage. This means that anywhere in the world on open oceans, open seas, you should have Starlink, Starlink connectivity. Now, due to regulatory issues in some countries, there is still a limited list of locations that you can actually purchase Starlink maritime service. And Starlink lists that on their website of locations that are currently approved. But that should be expanding as time goes on. Another addition we recently became aware of was a new service called Global Ro Roaming Service. Now, officially, this hasn't launched on a website. And we've just been shared emails with some customers that have been offered this new service. This new service seems to offer a global land cov coverage for $200 a month. Um, it seems that it's going to be using the existing standard Starlink dish, whether it's residential or RV, the same dish that those use. One of the big improvements over this is that you are no longer time constrained or location constrained on where you can use your Starlink. Currently, RV and Starlink residential services have in the TOS that you're limited to two months out of your country and you're not supposed to leave your continent with it. Now, up to this point, it has not been enforced but it seems with this new global roaming service coming online in the near future, Starlink is opening a path to start enforcing those terms of service on Starlink residential and Starlink for RVs. And now if you want to travel globally with your Starlink, you're going to need to subscribe to this global roaming service. This new global roaming service seems to be mostly aimed at nomads who are out of their home country for two months or more, travel to other continents, or are world travelers that are traveling indefinitely. So this new service gives them a way to stay connected for a little bit more per month, but without any restrictions as the current services are imposing. It is unclear yet if users will be able to transfer service or upgrade service from the current RV or residential, or perhaps a new self-service transfer portal online would allow you to cancel your current plan and then restart up under a new account with this global roaming service. Overall, this is pretty exciting news for Starlink. And while there are certainly some growing pains in customer service, still remains the contention point for some. It's pretty amazing in this short amount of time that Starlink has now officially become a global internet service around the world. And you can use it anywhere on land or water with the correct service that provides you that connectivity. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.